Hello and welcome back to the House of Wyvern. We're doing a quick video we've thrown together today. We've been planning it for a while but it kind of came about last minute with all the stuff we were putting together. So I went to the shop and they were out of pumpkins, which is annoying. So we decided to go old school because in the north and in the Celtic nations they originally used swedes or turnips and to be honest they look a bit more scarier than crap. They look a bit more scarier than um, jack-o'-lanterns. So what we're doing today is we're going to try it with Swedes and Turnips. As originally, um, in the Celtic times, and obviously during the medieval era and running up to, they used to use Swedes and Turnips because pumpkins are not native to the UK. So sit back, relax, and we'll see how these turn out. <laughs> If you ever ever tried carving a turnip, swede, whatever, don't, because I've been at this for an hour, and I've got about three quarters of the way through, <laughs> and I have mediocre tools. So yeah, <laughs> and I've got a bigger one to go through next. <laughs> So I finished the first one and now I have to continue my punishment or torture with the next one and as some of you probably know, turnips are not hollow. So the only way I've found to actually make it work is to crisscross and then go down and then go sideways and then go there. So you're kind of trying to mash it into some sort of pulp and then just pull it out because that's the only way you can do it because I've actually broke it trying to use leverage to pull it out. So with some arduous effort, <coughs> is that even a word, the right way? These are now ready and some injuries later and a lot of swede in my hair. Okay so this was my turnip. Swede. Yeah my swede, my turnip. Um, and I made a Cheshire cat out of it and we'll see how it looks in the dark. Phoenix gonna put some tea light in it and let's turn the light off. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah, I like it. Good. I think this is probably the best Jack I've done in a long time actually. I think I've only ever done one or two in my life, but this I'm actually quite proud of because I managed to get the mouth right with the little lines and stuff. Oh, that actually looks really good, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Good for what I can do anyway. As you can see, they both came out well together, and they kind of look a lot more scary compared to Jack O'Lanterns, uh, in a way. Of these Swedo lan Swedo lanterns, turnip lanterns. Yeah, I think they actually look scarier than pumpkin ones. <laughs> In a way. Well, guys, that's it. If you are thinking about doing this, I strongly suggest using power tools, but that's not my recommendation. That's probably just a thought because it took me an hour to carve each one, and it was very difficult. Uh, so, if you're going to use power tools, use care and that's I don't really know that's just probably I'm not taking responsibility basically so uh, yeah if you enjoyed this like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later mm -hmm.